What's up guys? So today we're doing the craziest video I've ever done. I'm sure you guys can see these two cars behind me, but what I'm sure you've never seen is we're gonna be cutting them in half and attaching the two front ends to each other. So we're at my friend Chris's shop, Electron Automotives, and we got here. The Priuses are literally ready. I'm so stoked and grateful for this opportunity. A little backstory on how I met Chris is actually super cool. I was filming a video sending a weather balloon to the edge of space, and I got stuck in the middle of the desert. I was in a really bad place. We didn't know how we were gonna get out, and we just found Chris in the desert. We didn't know each other, and he literally saved our life. <laughs> he towed my truck out of the desert. It's super cool that just meeting a stranger in the desert turned out to be one of the coolest people I've ever met and here we are making some even cooler videos. All right, Chris, tell us your idea that you came up with today. All right, so we get a bunch of these cars uh, because catalytic converters are getting stolen like crazy. Last year, I think we did 44 of them. So we've got a ton of these just sitting around that we buy from them for parts. And then we were at lunch one day, all of us just talking and saying, hey, we got to take these out to the desert and we got to jump them or do something fun with them. It, it's a shame just to give them to the, the junkyard. So we came up with the idea of cutting the backs off, welding them together, making an eight cylinder Prius with eight seats that can drive in both directions, four wheel steering, and all of the, the fun stuff that you can do with that. So there's gonna be two drivers in here. Oh yeah, and uh, six passengers. Oh my, this is gonna be crazy. All right, so it's literally happening right now. We're pulling the cars in. All right, it's happening and I am just so excited for this. Hey, it's in the air. <laughs> Good enough? All right, so the Priuses are up and it is now time. They're taking all the parts out and preparing. All right, so both the cars are lifted up and they are taking all the major components out and preparing it to be cut in half. So next step is cutting it in half. Then the last step is gonna be welding it. But this is a long process and I'll show you guys a little bit of what's going on. We got the drone pilot. <laughs> One out of four ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> I know, tell me what you think of this. Since this one is still gonna drive, why don't we crack this first and cut this one off? We can even still do it here on the rack. Because if we cut it down the middle, it should still drive. Yeah. All right, so they're gonna start by cutting the back end of this Prius to see how the cutting goes, and that way we don't have both the cars cut up if this is gonna be a longer process than expected. All right, how do you think this is gonna go? Any ideas? We got it. We got it? We got it. We got it. And yes, break it either. Do you think maybe? No, I won't. All singing up while I pop a bottle off a yacht chain playing. We may have uh, killed some ground wires. Wow, dude, look at these cuts. <laughs> Those are, you guys did an insane job. I'm gonna put it next to the wall, look like it ran in the. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so the day has come to an end and both cars are successfully cut and they're looking super good. And Chris, tell us, what are the next steps for this car? So the next thing is gonna be the most difficult thing because it needs to be done just right. Cutting stuff off and tearing things apart is the easy thing. Now we have to weld this together. It has to be strong so it doesn't break while we're driving it. And the cars have to be welded just right. Because if you weld them together like that, as you drive, it's gonna wanna do circles. So we gotta get it just right. And then we gotta lose the suspension on one of these. So this guy, we're gonna take out his suspension completely in the back and merge it with this one so that it all fits together. And there's a bunch of other little things like the hybrid batteries are sticking out of the back of the car. Because uh, this thing has gotta be safe and it's gotta be fun. Oh yeah, anyway, how many people is this gonna seat? 10. 10 people. Yeah, nothing less. All right, so it's day two and we're finally back at the shop. Today, we're gonna attempt to weld both the Priuses together and today's the day that counts where we see if this project can actually turn into a reality. All right, so it might be hard to imagine right now. This right here is gonna look like one wheel well and we're gonna take out of one of these cars, taking all this out down there and I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is gonna be probably the size of a limo. Hey, we don't have to take it off. What the? What the heck? Wait, what? Was this a drug car or something? <laughs> nah, you guys. Are <laughs> this is that fake money. Yeah. Dude, it would be it'd be freaking it. awesome if the fake money had him on there. Like, <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right now they're welding the support beams and that's gonna be the main level of support and those metal rods that I showed in the video are basically gonna be what attaches both the cars to each other. So they're spending a lot of time on it, making sure that it's done perfectly. And yeah, so that's basically gonna be the main level of support. And so if anything goes wrong, that's not where we want it going wrong. All right, so this happened way faster than we thought. We've only been working at this for like a couple hours tonight. It's not fully finished, but it's drivable. It's welded together. We have our 10-seater, double-headed limo Prius. The batteries are all back inside, and we're gonna get our very first test drive right now. So let's get right to the clip. Oh my gosh, this thing's looking so crazy. There's no way this is real. <laughs> this literally looks fake. I've never seen something like this. What's up, Joe? <laughs> hey, <Rick? laughs> All right, so we got this thing running and when we took it on the main roads, we went on this bump and the whole thing completely snapped. <laughs> but we've been back in here working on it. Didn't get to finishing it up tonight, but we're basically gonna weld a bunch more, have a bunch more support uh, so that this doesn't happen again. I'm glad that this happened early on so we know how to perfect it, but even just getting it running tonight was unreal, and I'm excited to see where this takes us. So fast forward a year later, my friend Chris got super busy and I got busy and we kind of just stopped working on the project. And then I ended up posting it on TikTok. It went viral and that's when I remembered. I had all the clips, so obviously the YouTube video you guys just watched is a year late, but I called Chris back and it turns out he got rid of the Prius. So we no longer have the double-sided Prius, but I talked to him again and he said, if we want to do it again, as long as the video gets some traction, he's down to get two more Priuses. We'll literally start it all over from scratch, but make it like way better, way stronger and it's gonna be a lot faster. And then from there, we could do a lot of fun stuff with it. We could get it wrapped and make it look like professional, get new interior. We could even make like the seats like face each other inside and make it like a limo. There's like endless things we could do. We could get pranks done with it, go to car shows, drive it on the main road, maybe even like Uber. So if you guys wanna see us do that, I already got the green light from Chris. I'm down to do it. So if this video gets 20 likes, we're gonna make it happen. And let me know if you think it's worth it. I think it would be pretty fun because last time we literally got it on the road for less than an hour. And then that's when things went wrong. All right, so smash the like button, subscribe, and if this gets 20,000 likes, we're gonna make it happen.